Hey guys, Michael here. Happy Friday for me anyways. So I'm going to be talking about the Kodi app and how to do a, a new install for the Kodi app on your Android TV box. So as you can see from your Kodi or from your screen, I have Kodi, the Kodi logo already there. So I have Kodi on here. Um, so there's, I mean, there's a few reasons you may want to do this. Maybe you want to upgrade to Kodi version 15. So I'm going to show you how to do the the download of the APK file to install the new Kodi, which seems to be relatively stable. Um, maybe you've got a problem with your Kodi. Maybe you're doing some tweaking. Maybe there was a software glitch and it's no longer loading. So for any of those reasons, you may want to get a new version of Kodi. So what I'm going to do now is to completely uninstall Kodi and then I will reinstall it. So I do that by going into settings and then I go into other and then I go into more settings and I'm going to select apps because Kodi is an app that is running on Android and then I go down and select Kodi and I'm going to uninstall it. It asks me if I'm sure I say yes. Now there's this uh, the screen in the background. There's other options here too. There's a there was a clear cache and there was also the clear data. You can you can clear all of that too, and you could you could even try doing that if you did have some glitches. But often it's just easiest just to install a new version of Kodi if you have problems with it. So I'm going to go back to the main Android screen and where I'm going to go now is I'm going to go browse on the internet to kodi.tv forward slash download and this is the main Kodi website. Uh, you can find lots of information there about Kodi and of course it also has their installs. So you find the install for Android because we're doing this for the Android box and we're going to select ARM, ARM, because it is an ARM processor that most of these boxes are running on. Got the MXQ, MX3, the new M10, all those AM logic chips, they're all running with the ARM processors. So I'm just going to select the ESD downloader and then it's going to start downloading for me. And then once it's downloaded, I'm going to install it. I open the file. It's an installer. It, it asks me about installing it. I say yes. You can be quite confident because that you're getting this directly from the Kodi.tv website that this file is going to be safe. So we're, we're, we're almost done here for the Kodi install. Now, uh, one thing you will ask about is the add-ons for Kodi. I'm just going to open it. Uh, but uh, yeah, you'll, you'll want the add-ons. And Kodi comes with a basic set of add-ons. And some of them I'm sure you will be using and watching. But there are other add-ons that you probably want to add, such as PrimeWire or Genesis or Ice Films, so you can get an add-on file like Super Repo or Total Repo and add those. And I'm going to talk about that in a follow-up video. I'm going to show you where you add that media source for the add-ons and, and then how you 
enable those because right now you can see here we are the the Cody screen that we're all familiar with um, however you'll notice a couple things you don't have the preloaded shortcuts and you also do not have all the add-ons that you were probably familiar with so when I go to video add-ons for example nothing is here on this screen because nothing is enabled and when I click get more it has this it has this basic set that Cody comes with which is it's not bad I mean you've got you've got you still got a lot of free TV you can watch however a lot of people want the, the prime wire the Genesis the the sports stuff so I'm going to show that in another video but look at that not too bad five minutes and we've uninstalled and reinstalled a fresh version of Cody. Have a great day, guys.